early on a Wednesday and look at this showers and there were some thunderstorms. Lightning strikes are starting to wind down over the Okefenokee. It had to add it up to about seven at one point and that's mostly what we're seeing here. So we're getting away from the busy areas of Charlton County over top of Southern Ware County and the frogs and gators loving some of that fresh water coming through over the swamp here with tropical development quiet in the next five day window. That's all we have to say about that and that's good news. As we move ahead into your afternoon, John will be busy once again starting at four o'clock with the first tracks of what will be some showers and storms five o'clock and six o'clock. He'll be watching these as they develop to the west of I-95 and our focus here, Clay County and Putnam County going to be watching closely also for your neighboring counties, Union, Bradford and Alachua. Yesterday's heavy rainfall, Monday's heavy rainfall and then more coming through today could lead to more standing water and we'll try to keep you posted here at News for Jacks. You can always stay ahead of those showers and storms with our interactive radar. That's a click away at News for Jacks. If your lawns, gardens, your front yard, backyard, even the streets are still looking soggy here Thursday and Friday will give those a chance to slowly dry out 20 to 30 percent. But it's the weekend forecast where we're back to showers and storms. The story here, though, a stronger easterly flow. A lot of what we'll see will be in those inland areas. You can stay ahead of those showers and storms this weekend with our interactive radar. It's always a click away at News for Jacks.